friend, thank you for clicking to this video and here I am with another tutorial and on this video will give you a basic idea how you can make a 3D diamond. This is a basic idea. Uh, today a lot, there are a lot of companies who made this kind of design. You just go to Google or to any search engine and you type and you will find a lot of places where you can buy a, this design ready make. But for those who want to start from scratch, want to do this from scratch, I will show you how you can do it. Just remember guys, practice it, it is very important. Practice it, practice it, and at the end, you will get it, you will make it. And here I am, I'm going to use this material. This is a half, a uh, quarter of an inch uh, thickness bone. It's a highlighting material. This is a one quarter of an inch, uh, this is a, a closed cell phone. And I will glue all these three pieces. So uh, before you start cutting, you have to know the dimension, how many inches of width, how many inches of length, you have to know it. And keep on mind, it will trim. So make sure to give it some extra. Okay, I put glue, then I glue all those three pieces. If you don't have a, a glue pad or glue gun, you have to uh, apply glue with brush, and then after that, you have to square the material. The material is already square, so now it is time to start drawing uh, those uh, diamonds. This is the size of this piece, 15 inches and a half by 23. That's the whole piece. Then the diamond will be 3 inches by 4 and a half. That will be done already. So then I start uh, putting some more, three inches. And right here, four inch and a half. I'm going to put another mark because I'm going to draw two lanes. Okay. There is the first mark. The first lane on top of the firmware. But I have to create a gap. So to create that gap, I'm going to uh, put two more mark and creating a half inch gap. You're going to do that all around. If you want that distance from uh, one diamond to another one, Three quarters, so the, uh, the distance between one line and the other line will be three quarters of an inch. And then you drop all those lines. And you can see them right there. Are you ready to uh, put those lines? And now I am cutting. Okay. What is next? So next you have to cut that white phone. Are using a racing blade, you can use a sharp and utility knife and start cutting, removing that phone. See, that I create a gap already, a space, half inch. And I will do that with all those lines. Simple, you can see it. And I'm going to do same thing with all the rest of those lanes. This it is time. It is time. That means you're going to charge more to, uh, to the customer. Oh, that uh, diamond is coming down. I will put more glue. Just making sure to put it exactly how it was. Don't put it crooked because if you don't put it on right, you will notice when the vinyl or the fabric is on top. You can see that back how it look. I didn't cut it. And there are those uh, diamonds on the phone. So what is next? You have to know the side of this uh, diamond. 
If you have been working on car interior for a long time, you already know without doing this what I am doing. Why I am doing this? Because especially for those who are learning, they can have a better idea how to get that side. So I put glue and look now. I start uh, gluing that vinyl on top of that diamond. And there is. So now you get a pen, you got a chalk, and put some mark in there. I just cut it right here. If you don't want to do this, just get the measuring tape, make sure uh, to measure it, and then uh, cut bases on that measurement. See? Put some mark. That is all what you have to do. What am I going to do now? I'm going to remove it and I'm going to draw. It is necessary to do this? No. If it is not necessary, why I am doing it? For those who are barely start this trade, that's what I am doing this. So I already got that diamond in there. So now you have to... Uh, Know that dimension because it will the material will sink in, it will shrink. So it's four and a half by three and a half. The outside line. So now you have to know that inside can I be as smallest? Two and a half by three and a half, one inch smallest. So that's very important. You have to know that. You have to know that part. This is the vinyl that I'm going to use. It is a two-way stretch. And you have to square the material, like always. And then you have to draw the line. You have to mark the material. Same thing as you did before with the phone. Question, I am going to dry, uh, draw a diamond on this vinyl. Do you think the size of this diamond, it is the same as the diamond that I draw on the uh, closed cell phone? What do you think? It is not the same size. This diamond right here have a half inch bigger because it will sink in what happened if I don't give that half inch extra well if I try to sink in or to give the shape of the diamond it will shrink a lot and those diamond would match with the diamond that are on the phone so you can see the vinyl have an extra material because it will trim. I'm going to use a T270 uh, thread. Because it will have a three stitch, I will uh, draw two more lengths. the distance between one lane to the another one will be three quarter and then I draw all those lanes The distance on the phone, when I cut it, that uh, space is half inch, 
right here it had three quarter of an inch because I'm going to use a thickness thread I always check the sewing machine it's as you can see T270 it's a heavy thread that I'm going to use then I will sew exactly on top of that that line one stitch and let's see it you can see him on there and it's perfect on the bottom so now I have to keep sewing I'm not going to show you the whole process of, of this because I know you are smart and you will get it so I put one stitch and you can see I keep sewing and I am leaving one uh, line without uh, sewing. At the end, I will put one more stitch on that line right there. See, everything is going fine. Then you can start figure out. You can see a diamond right there, and you can see okay, I almost done. And here I had the material on the table. I have the stitch already, but it's not done. I have to put one more stitch. When I will put the last stitch, well. First, I have to glue this panel to that phone. And I'm going to put glue. Uh, I will concentrate the glue on those lanes, on those stitches, on top of those stitches. I will put glue on all but most in there. And you can see it. Between those two stitches. And I will do the same thing right here. I will put a lot of glue in that gap right there and I put a little bit on the top so now I have to glue that vinyl on top of those uh, diamond there is not a specific rule that it says that you have to start from the center or you have to start from the left or right side it's not a specific rule that it says that you have to make sure that glue is dry. That's number one. I let it too much dry, so I put a little bit more of glue. And now I start uh, gluing that binder. You can pick any of those lines to start. I just pick this one. And make sure, my friend, uh, you see the binder have a stitch, right? That is uh, it has to be exactly on that phone edge exactly exactly what happened if it's not hitting that edge well it will look weird if it's something look weird on this design uh, at the end it's not gonna look good and maybe you have to redo it so make sure you see I am gluing and I put that stitch exactly on top of that edge and you have to make sure this part of the diamond that stitches on top and same thing with the other part of the diamond this requires passion this requires a little bit of skill but if you don't get it at the first time and you keep practicing I bet you my friend on the second or third time you will get it see I try to push that material in sank in Those of who do this for uh, have been doing this for a long time, they already know this process. And thank you, my friend, if you are one of those, thank you for watching this video. Uh, you know, this is all about uh, practicing and require a little bit of skill, but i giving you an idea how you can do it.
and you can see them right there. I am using a, a that tool that I am using is for the BMW. I think it's a C3 uh, for the convertible top or when you're going to replace the rear window that's coming that thing but you can use uh, the back of the teaspoon or the back of the for just make sure uh whatever you are using uh, if it is charged you will cut the material make sure uh, to not be charged and there i have it there i have it so what is next i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and pull uh, the last stitch So I replace the thread, so I check, make sure, and I start sewing. That machine has to be for a poultry sewing machine. If you are using a industrial cloth sewing machine, it's not gonna work right here. As you can see the bottom, everything looks perfect. So, um, And you can have a better view right there. Slowly, but nice. It's all about time. That's all. It's all about time. And last stitch. Now I take it to the table and you can see how beautiful that uh, insert look. You see the stitch is on the top of the edge form. And then the pink thread is the one that is in the middle. Big difference, huh? For those who barely start on this trade, this must be a challenge. This might be a challenge for you, but never start practicing. If you start practicing, that will be your biggest mistake. I just give you a basic idea on this video, guys, and I show you how you can do that. There is two different ways how you can do this. I show you one of them. The easiest way is the one where I just show you. A small recap before finish this video. I uh, use a two layer or quarter of an inch closed cell phone. The distance between one diamond to another diamond on the phone is a half inch. The distance between one line to another line on the binder was three quarter of an inch instead of half inch. Why? Because we, uh, to sink in will take more material and that means we'll shrink more. If you instead of half inch use a three quarter of an inch or one inch thickness phone, that means on the vinyl, do you remember that I give three quarter of an inch between one lane to another lane? I am talking about the first stitch that I put. One is red stitch to another red stitch was three quarter of an inch. So, if you are using a higher phone, instead of three quarter of an inch, will be between one inch and a quarter and one inch and a half. All depend the density of the phone that you are using it. So thank you for watching this video, my friend. I hope you enjoy it. If it that was your case, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And see you soon in another video. This is just an idea.